Mystery on the Docks by Thatcher Hurd. Read by Raoul Julia. Ralph, the short order cook at the diner on Pier 46, was washing up for the night. He sang as he washed. Oh, so me. Ralph loved to sing. <laughs> On his nights off, Ralph headed for the opera house to hear the star sing, or he strolled to the end of Pier 46, playing the accordion and singing to the stars in the sky. But tonight, there were no stars. A cold and clammy fog crept over the docks. A foghorn blew. The pier creaked. Then all was quiet. Or was it? Ralph stopped singing. He heard a ship's engines throbbing. He saw a dark ship gliding to the dock. Thud. He heard a gangplank fall. Two rats slunk out of the gloom. They headed straight for Ralph's diner. Fish and fry, snapped the shorter rat. right -o, said Ralph. You work on the dark ship? None of your business, now the taller rat. Hmm, thought Ralph. Tough customers. While the rats gobbled their food, Ralph read the newspaper. Suddenly, a headline caught his eye. Singer mysteriously vanishes. Ratville, May 16. The day before his gala concert at the Opera House, Eduardo Bombasto whose thundering voice is known to concert goers throughout the world, disappeared under mysterious circumstances. The police have no clues. Oh, no, cried Ralph. My favorite singer is missing. Bam! The diner door slammed. Ralph whirled around. The two rats were gone. Hey, come back here, Ralph yelled. Pay up! But the pier was empty. Or was it? Suddenly a car screeched to a stop in front of the dark ship. Three rats jumped out. Roth hid behind a crate. Okay, boys, get the sack out of the trunk, shouted a huge rat chomping a cigar. Right, big owl. Ralph tiptoed closer. Crash! He tripped on a rope. Catch him! Snatch him! Yelled Big Al. Ralph scampered down the pier. But the rats were too quick on their paws. Throw him in the hole! Snapped Big Al. Welcome aboard! <laughs> Laughed the same two rats who hadn't paid for the fish and fries. The dark ship pulled away from the dock. Ralph was alone in the hold. Or was he? The sack behind Ralph began to wiggle. Who's there? Ralph cried out. Help! Help! Ralph untied the sack. Out popped Eduardo! Who are you? Eduardo asked suspiciously. I'm your biggest fan, replied Ralph. What are you doing here? Big Al kidnapped me, said Eduardo. I'll walk the plank if he doesn't get his ransom. We've got to get off this ship fast, cried Ralph. Ralph and Eduardo sneaked on deck. 
Big Al was on guard. The night was black as coal. The ship was far out in the harbor. Aha! Uh -huh, yelled Big Al. Trying to escape, huh? We'll fix you. Ralph and Eduardo ran for it, straight up the mast and into the crow's nest. Look! Flares! shouted Ralph. We can signal for help. The fog is too thick, said Eduardo. The police will never see the flares. What else can we do, said Ralph. I can sing, exclaimed Eduardo. Help! 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 A police boat siren wailed in the distance. They saw the flares, cried Ralph. No said Eduardo. They heard me sing. Big Al was hopping mad. Full steam ahead, he shouted. But the dark ship was slow and the police boat was fast. Come out with your hands up, yelled the police chief. But Big Al was not about to give up. He was too tough. And besides, he was winning. Or was he? Suddenly, two figures swooped down out of the fog. Ralph and Eduardo to the rescue! What bam Kaboom! Splash! Kapow! Rats overboard! Yelled the police chief. The police fished Big Al and his gang out of the water. Their fur was dripping. Their teeth were chattering. Their dark ship was towed back to the pier. They were towed to jail. The next day, Ralph's picture was on the front page of the newspaper. He was a hero. Eduardo gave him a front row seat for his concert at the Opera House. After the concert, Ralph invited Eduardo and all his friends to a party on Pier 46. The stars were shining brightly. Ralph played the accordion and sang for his favorite opera star. Everyone danced and munched fish and fries and toasted Ralph, who had saved Eduardo from Big Al and his gang of nasty rats.